Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124, and welcome to a reaction video of me reacting to the uh, today's Nintendo Direct. Um, what you guys are seeing now is the video I did for when Banjo and Kazooie were released in Smash Ultimate. Um, I, that's what I have this commentary over. I'm having it over this because um, the last time we had a full-fledged Nintendo Direct was back when Manu and Kazooie were announced. And uh, um, for anybody who's not watched the Nintendo Direct yet, if you don't want spoilers for what you're hearing in the video, watch the Nintendo Direct before watching this video. So anyway, that said, let's get started. Come on, it's cut the live. Oh, well. This is probably that Nino Kuni 2 or whatever it is. It was as if she vanished. In the meantime. Angie, whatever it takes. Oh, crap. Is that Rin? If that's Rin, that means Rin is in Smash. I got an invitation to join the crap! I'm rolling this back. Unfortunately, the frickin' crap cut to live. Yeah, they didn't they didn't let it know what the Smash logo did there. Nope, they did not. I gotta wonder this. Did they just freaking cock tease people that wanted Rex, or is Rex actually gonna be a part of Smash as well? I really freaking wish it wouldn't have automatically thrown the dang thing to freaking live. It kind of ruined the reaction a little bit. I imagine when they first started this on, it was probably a cut. Intro cut scene of the game. I couldn't find it anywhere. This thing did the stupid YouTube glitch stuck thing, didn't it? Or maybe they had a problem with the stream and the thing anywhere. stuck on them. Yeah, the thing stuck on them, I think. It was as if she vanished as the face of all rest. I think one thing I thought to myself previously, possibly speculated to myself about in the past, was they, okay, they just added stuff for us, so they expanded on the Final Fantasy characters by adding a second character, so one of my p potential predictions I thought of to myself previously was maybe adding another character to another series that only has one fighter in Smash, and one of them was, of course, Shulk as Xenoblade. A trace? Where have I'll find you, whatever it takes. This is where you were. Myra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation to join the chat! I have to wonder if it's going to be Pyra and Rex and it's going to be a whole male-female thing like the male-female Byleth. <clears throat> and, uh, Steve and Alex. I can't remember if she's a primary or a support, but here we have another instance, just like Min Min, of a freaking new character being added to Smash that has previously had a spirit. Which goes to show, if a character has a spirit but does not have a uh, assist trophy, they can potentially be added to Smash. Um, I almost want, again, I cannot remember if Pyro is a support or a primary spirit. 
And of course it figures Smash would freaking add another female fighter after Min Min. There are no pushovers. Nintendo Sakurai, who all is involved in the decision of that? Talk about a tight spot. Mithra? Let me handle this. Let me guess, it's another- it's a freaking clone or the same main move, uh, freaking, uh, Shulk's vision. <laughs> Mithra! So is it gonna be a four-character thing, like with Minecraft, where it's Steve, Alex, uh... Zombie and Enderman. Mithra! Cutting the clothes, huh? Oh, hey, but these guys are plenty of them. Gee, I feel kind of bad now. How about dirt? Like this? Buster! The zombie! So it seems like they're, cl since it's different names or different moves, it seems like it's clone characters. So it'll be like maybe a two for one situation where it's not the two of the last three character slots, but it's like two characters essentially with clone moves and stuff, but aren't on different slots depending on whether or not you want to combine them in the game. But these aren't just characters, same exact characters on the same slot. These are two different move sets with similar properties, so they're clone characters. I'm hyped for more females and more Xenoblade representation in the game. I'm just not as nearly as hyped as other people are. Oh, you... Probably not, but is it a switch between the two situations like Zelda and Sheik used to be? And, uh, like the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Trainer R. Yep, it's like how Sheik and Zelda used to be and how the Pokemon Trainer Pokemon are. I just beg the question though, does that freaking use up a special move slot like Zelda and Sheik's down special used to be and what um was the case with Pokemon in Brawl which was fine and the Charizard got and uh, Flare Blitz and Smash 4 and then lo lost Rock Smash and Ultimate. Quite the spectacle, aren't they? It, wow, that freaking I wouldn't have never known that that freaking guy did voice acting for Xenoblade. Um, I'm fairly certain that, that that's the same exact guy who played the freaking dolphin in SpongeBob SquarePants movie Sponge Out of Water. Bubbles. He played Bubbles in SpongeBob SquarePants Sponge Out of Water. What? What? Uh, I think it's and I don't freaking know yet, but my prediction is that uh, the Smash Fighters are going to be, for the last three, are going to be April... Alright, they're going to be released in April, August, and December, because three more fighters, and uh, that's four months apart. So even though we're getting this revealed now, I'm predicting that we'll, we won't get them until April. Is this just a fun little thing like with Claude and Sephiroth, or are they actually going to do some sort of update to Shulk? Like they did for uh, Cloud's one final smash. Maybe they'll do an update to his frickin' final smash or something. Well, now that you're in smash, I won't go easy on you. 
Yep, freaking them going straight for the freaking fan service. God, I love their, them going for the fan service. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. We are fighters too! How could you forget you just told him? Or she did, I mean. The Emily Chronicles 2 rated team by the ESRB. Don't know why the hell the heck that I meant to say heck the hell came out. Why the heck they needed to put that disclaimer there, but whatever. Hello everyone, it's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Last year, we delivered a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Doing the good old Iwata okay. bow. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll... Oh, they pulled a fast one on me and did it a little bit earlier. Still, though, I could be right on the August thing. But then again, maybe they'll want it to be released for November to coincide with whatever big titles might be coming up in November for the holiday season. Well, stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with... Which, of course, means, as we all already know, what Sakurai's been doing for Smash DLC, doing his, him presenting the characters our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. AKA, up. Oh, Looks like a Yoshi egg. Up. Oh, it's just foggy eyes coming to the Switch. I don't care. Interesting, but I don't care. Dude, I love the quality of this cutscene, though. Toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer 2021. It's been too long since we've been able to hear this guy announce stuff for a full fledged direct. <laughs> you have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Venture into the vast yeah. reaches of space. For these things I don't care about, I'm just going to be in the background taking care of stuff. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar and again, system will be I'm, I'm doing on my DS. Doing stuff ahead of time for Everything will reset, a game as well as potentially needing to help a future let's play. Gather. By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the I sun just from realized, um, I can go ahead and skip ahead because I have all my pausing and going back, so... Outer Wilds, let's see what the next thing is. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Yeah, thankfully because of that pausing, I can skip at least some stuff I could care less about. Now uh, here we have if an Amicom type of club, two different versions of the same game with different content in it, akin to Pokemon games, but more different content, kind of more similar to the Fire Emblem Space games. And then of course the three different paths you can freaking take in Fire Emblem Three Houses and all the DLC in it. A new age of battles begins. Probably nothing I care about, but I gotta watch just in case I'm wrong. Kung Fu Panda or something. Skip 
skip ahead. Samurai Warriors 5. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. I can't remember if that's the a, a game like one of the uh, uh, previous entries in the series, or that's something Slim Kirby Let's Play. I can't remember what that was. Dive into the history. Slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. <laughs> Fast world of Fadiel beckons. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. Huge props to anybody, or huge, um, not props. I guess huge power to all the people that uh, have played Legend of Mana and been wanting a remake of it. Join forces with character. Including the ability to turn off enemy... June 24th. Marthalos. Monster Hunter game. Does even last forever? We're here to offer assistance. Monster Hunter Rise. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. What's this gonna be? Is all the thing? Is it gonna be Mario Kart 9? What's it gonna be? Oh, frickin' I was had part of Nathaniel Bandy's frickin' uh, stream up because he started the stream before uh, Nintendo actually started this thing and he said Mario Golf, it's a new, I don't care about it and I'm not getting it, but it is a new Mario Golf game. Mario is sporting, sim seemingly sporting the hat that he had has for Mario Tennis Aces. People have been waiting a while for a new Mario Golf game. It's open once again. Tee off in the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. And as DLC, you get Tiger Woods. What? Mario Golf Super Rush. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. I wonder if this is another game Nintendo was originally planning on having la released last year but couldn't because of the pandemic. I kind of doubt it, but we'll s we'll, we may very well never know. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled. Oh heck yeah, the frickin' uh, Desert Kingdom from uh, Odyssey. And it looks like the jungle area of the uh, One Kingdom. Um, I don't know what the kingdom's called in Odyssey. Natural hand. scenery. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have- For the 10 people in the world that actually want to do that. Swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. Coming up, the freaking day this game releases, Tiger Woods plays Mario Golf. <laughs> On top of 
ball back. There are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario. Oh heck, ice flower. Golf, including this one, speed golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. That's definitely cool. It adds an element of Mario Party to it. <laughs> Mario Party mini games. Give it another wrap, get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things that Superstar. play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat. That's really cool. I can say one thing. I can guarantee this is a game that Erkin Silum Kirby be super excited for. The competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. And it better mean more than freaking leveling up Mario and Martinez Ace's story mode. Then, allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the- <laughs> Wario gets a cowboy hat. <laughs> Mario Golf Super- June 25th, dang. Rush swings on Nintendo Switch. Interesting, that unless they did- it, Oh, I don't know, because it skipped through the- It threw it to a head to live, so they may have had a disclaimer of any release dates not being 100% final because of the pandemic. <laughs> begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy-to-learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. To Check out these up. games coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and... ...32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classic. Battle of Midway Arcade Stadium launches later today. Brains! As a zombie, you just can't get enough of it. Aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken up enough to pay off the entry fee. If I kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick, <laughs> it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch, August 27th. Har har. Exterminate demons in he heaven. As above, so below. Winter 2021. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Hi everyone, my name's Barbara Gordon. What the frickin' heck? A video game with a freaking character voiced by Tara Strong? That's not a My Little Pony thing? Or Fairly Odd Parents? What? That is clearly Tara Strong, unless I misheard that. That's the only reason I'm even interested. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. I'm sure there's a plethora of voices Tara Strong's done in the past that I'm completely unaware of. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. A.K.A. Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime. Like... And that voice straight the frick up. Like, 
the, not even a little bit. That straight up sounds like Twilight Sparkle, one hundred ten percent. Like maybe not the energy in the voice, but outside of the maybe the energy and inflections. My bat range and back up. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision. Plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman. And Boy, am I glad I didn't skip this. Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super light. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. I'm glad when I seen that girl, I didn't skip this like I would have otherwise. Otherwise, I would, again, I would not have expected a Terra Strong game. Ooh, maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. <laughs> hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming. But when Justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. It's totally cheering Crystallis and Cozy Glow. Har, har, har. Make sure no one figures out our secret identities. It's the main six. I knew it. DC Superhero Girls Team Power heroically stores on the Nintendo Switch June 4th. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Is it the series that the freaking rambling evil mushroom came from in Smash Ultimate? Freaking plants versus zombies? I wonder if Nintendo managed to get this as oh no complete edition. Yay for people who want a more full-fledged game than one of the mobile ver other mobile games that want to be able to play Plants vs. Zombies on the go, now it's an option. On a quest to face evil and save faces. Uh, a new Metopia game. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Also, the character that they just had, that me character they just had up to the point where I, where I skipped it, totally looked like an older version of Hitler. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty darn good! Har har har. That pretty barn good, barn good sounds like a freaking Smosh Try Not to Laugh Challenge joke. <laughs> Super Mario. Super Mario items are coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Are coming to your island. Okay. Also, that's probably continuing the 35th anniversary thing. I'm not gonna ever get the game, but I am interested in seeing what they're including, so I will have this up. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. Yeah, I know the Doll Smash is going to be showing these off. You'd like. This is really cool. It's kind of like freaking a nicer looking version because of the art style of Minecraft. We kind of a nicer looking version of being able to make a Mario themed area in um, Animal Crossing uh, akin to the Super Mario pack for Minecraft uh, exclusively on the Wii U, the Switch, and possibly the 3DS. I wouldn't think so though, but yeah, for sure the Wii U and the Switch. You can also place two warp pipes. That's cool. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? 
A free update for the game launches February 25th. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available. One on mushroom, black coin, fire flower, floating pole, gold mushroom, large mushroom platform, pipe shell. Shopping star. Small mushroom platform, shoe, super mushroom, superstar, thwomp, question block, Luigi Mario hat, peach crown. Mario hat, Luigi stash, Mario, Wario, Luigi Mario, peach and Wario outfit. Their shoes, mushroom, mural, black flooring, Lakitu, cloud it. Rug, Yoshi Egg Rug. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. I hope and now we're going to have an update to it. You enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. They mentioned Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury briefly. Why else would they have any reason to mention that and touch down on that before this next thing if they weren't going to preface something? What are they going to announce? Odyssey 2? Is it going to be Mario Kart 9? Is it going to be something? Because, like, why would they preface something with Mario if it's not going to be a Mario game? What have they got up their sleeves? What you got, Nintendo? I'm hyped now. Watch my expectations get crashing down. From what I can tell so far, that was just basically a random shameless product plug. Oh hey, by the way, we released 3D World and Bowser's Fury. Buy our game, 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 buy our game. He leaves us no recourse. So that, that that's literally all that was. Like how dare Nintendo do that? I'm not sorry, hard, but still, it's like, oh, hey, by the way, you know that game, our game we're gonna release, buy our game, buy our game, buy our game. That was freaking. It is of the up. That was deceiving. Curse you for putting in a, a shameless product plug, Nintendo. Yes, the people, the Nintendo people know about your game. They're gonna put money down on it. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Working title, interesting. This game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop and in the. Don't care. And future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yay, everyone's favorite. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Star Wars, I see a freaking whatchamacallit, freaking uh stormtrooper thing on the wall. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 Free-to-play, everyone's favorite thing. That means microtransactions up the rear. Season 7, Flash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Right, Just while everyone's been want, want, waiting for, wanting, or looking forward to a microtransaction Star Wars game. You know who's partially behind that? Disney! Do I look at you or the camera? The heck is this? We all play for different reasons. What the frick is this? Seriously. Dog on these many weapons. Triple the war axe, spirit of misery, a soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. Ha! 
How to work? Bullets are constantly wasn't past you. Bring the wrong sword, bring the doom. Just once. Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what is this? <laughs> they had to freaking say it because, uh, of course, it's Nintendo. They had to censor the word ass, but still. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. Knockout City. I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. <laughs> like seriously, what is this? <laughs> this definitely looks Fortnite inspired. Seriously, what the frick is this? <laughs> they de they definitely are doing an incredible, awesome, entertaining, and hilarious freaking thing to get people to buy the game, to get people interested in it. But that's what advertising is supposed to do, so. <laughs> Advertising is supposed to get you to want to buy stuff, and they're doing a hell of a job with this one. I'm not going to get it, but it's definitely very enticing for people. Up, Eat this. Football player! Like seriously, what is this? I have to madly wonder if this is being made by 2K. Not wearing Not gonna get the game, but damn this is entertaining. I love that freaking war soldier guy with the freaking stereotypical southern accent. <laughs> Beyond Studio. Yup, EA. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight. Because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I'm sorry to scare you all, but the game is canceled. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. The one behind the whole game of fate! As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and team... Now it feels like an anime meets Cartoon Network show kind of thing. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch. May 28th. And I America. It seems like they had something to do with Peach Ball. With the physical release of Hades. Offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action. Okay, what's next after Hades? Three deadly action games. One masterful collection. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch. Props to the people who like the Ninja Gaiden games. Like, get it. Battle that are second in. Quickly gauge your opponent. All previous downloadable content, including. 
Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Which means DLC. Wave two will come out. That seems to heavily be heavily indicative that we're mo not that I'm ever gonna play it, but more heavily war meaning the world. Uh, heavily indicative that we're not gonna be getting Breath of the Wild two until either until next year or alongside the expansion pass in November 21, 2021 to accommodate it. So let me guess, this Age of Calamity expansion pass thing is gonna lead into more Zelda news. Will we get anything for maybe a Skyward Sword or a Phantom Hour Last Port or Remake or something like that to the Switch? There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Default 2. Oh, here we have the small compilations thing I was waiting on. Not that I care about it, but I was expecting it. It's almost here. Board hey, Bravely Default 2. Savage finally gets something on that, even if it's very small. Those of light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the brave and default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins Whoop -de -doo, don't care. Also available for the first time. Help Arthur and are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists. Eight captive Saga Frontier, don't care. Of the playable protagonist views, new gameplay features. Exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist, Ocellus. Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. A roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legend. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory. Okay, what does he say? Back it up. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Next, please take a look at this. So, since we already have Mario Golf Reveal, probably not Mario Kart 9, but what's it going to be? Zelda or something else? Hello there, I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Well, sorry, but that's not the case. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. And again, because of the whole recent um, trademark thing, it, I'm predicting either Phantom Hourglass remake or um, Breath of the or Breath of the Wild Skyward Sword port. It said coming to though. So what is it? Breath of the Wild or Phantom Hourglass? They're porting Wind Waker to the Switch? Hmm. 
Nope. Skyward Sword is coming to the Switch. I will be getting it at some point. I played the original, never finished it, between not knowing what to do, having fallen off of it for so long, and then the whole being forced to have the, um, Wii Remote with Wii Motion Control Plus in it. But yeah, in the future, some point in the future, I will be getting and let's playing Skyward Sword on the Switch. Confirmed right now. And I imagine the combat will be a lot more enjoyable than it was originally for Skyward Sword. You can actually play with a Pro Controller instead of having to use the Wii Remote Nunchuck. Yeah, the game came out in 2012. Nine years later, it's going to be ported to the Switch. And it'll probably, it's probably straight up called The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. And then the, like, again, like, this and Phantom Hourglass are the two other main stream Zelda games that I would ever consider Let's Playing. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD relive the incredible adventure as well as the very fun nostalgia of the annoyance of Fee being ten times worse than Navi. And I imagine just for the sake of being consistent with the original, if your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller or Joy-Cons are about dying, she'll let you know just like she did with the Wii Remote and the Wii version. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console. Oh, 2011. Now it's coming to me. Okay, so released in 2011, I got it for my birthday 2012. That's what it was. The, Switch. the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the Sword and the Shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con I know for a fact Active Dallas Match is going to be playing that. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. Interesting. I didn't would have known that. So the Octorok design they chose for the Spirit and Smash Ultimate is the Skyward Sword one. I did not remember that. <laughs> but yeah, again, I will be getting a Let's Playing this game. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to weave build a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Uh, I mean, I'll be able to get it, but I wish they would have just had it be a, like, Wind Waker on the Wii U. Swing to the right, to the left. I mean, it'll still be a lot, I don't know. Diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Oh, maybe you will get a Phantom Hourglass. Probably not with already Skyward Sword, but maybe we'll get a Phantom Hourglass remake. Specially designed. Oh, Joy Cons. Those are cool. Joy -Con. The right Joy Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left. Yeah, we're getting themed Joy Con controllers. They can still have Joy Con drift. Just what everyone wants for Christmas. Features a Hylian Shield motif. 
What do you get for freaking Christmas, Tommy? I freaking got Joy-Con Drift! Yay! Thank you, Santa Claus! Game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend of Zelda. July 16th, hot crap. <laughs> Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. I won't be let's playing this game until next year because I'm going to be having it be a thing I get for Christmas. And uh, there's something I plan on, uh, and I'm, I'm, there's another let's play I plan on doing before that game. Um, once I'm done with my Let's Play of Luigi Mansion 3 and then I've came back to Mario Tennis Aces and finished that, so let's play off. Once I'm done with those two, um, I will ha I have one more game to play, and then after that game, I'll get to this game. It'll be quite a while before I get to games like Yoshi's Crafted World, because, again, after that third game, after Luigi's Mansion 3 and, uh, Mario Tennis Aces, I'm going to be doing one more game before this one. So, um... At some point next year, even if not until past halfway through that next year, it's not even until over halfway past, or past halfway through next year, at some point next year, I will be plus playing Skyward Sword. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild using the sailcloth to descend in midair. A stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. And as I'm doing this, Shigami the Toll just got on 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury. Bell the Fajita. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda- Happy to see it's coming, and at some point next year I'll be less playing it. Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Will we get Phantom Hourglass remake? Probably not. Please be Mario Kart 9. Something I don't care about, isn't it? What the heck? It won't let me pause it. Regardless, I was about to freaking say Splatoon 3. I wanted to pause it and then say it, but then I couldn't. What the frick? Seriously? It wouldn't let me freaking keep viewing it. I wanted to see it. Yup. Well, at least I can pull the trailer up now. I would not have expected it. No one would have expected it. They're actually doing a Splatoon 3. I cannot, especially because of how much he loves the series, I cannot wait to see Nathaniel Bandy's reaction. Nobody, nobody was expecting them to do a Splatoon 3. Platoon fans rejoice. Because they had the freaking inkling in the hood, and I was going to say, is that a freaking inkling? Is that going to be a Splatoon character? And then because of the stream ending, I couldn't freaking pause it. Come on. 
So, any reveals as to Kelly Marie, Pearl, Marina, or are they gonna have two new MCs for this game like they did with Pearl Marina for Splatoon 2? And I want to say the first thing that they're showing here is supposed to be showing even more in-depth customization options that for your Inkling character than what they had in Splatoon 2. I cannot wait to see Nathaniel Banny's reaction to Splatoon 3. Ha, <laughs> little buddy's turn. It looks like they're doing a massive adventure mode. Yeah, some real hype things for Nintendo people in this direct. You got frickin' Pyra and Mithra for frickin' Smash. You got Skyward Sword HD. Uh... Splatoon 3, that freaking DC girl, high school girl game, or whatever the heck it is, with freaking Tara Strong. <laughs> Definitely feels akin to when you're on the Odyssey in, in, in the, with Mario and Cappy in those cutscenes in Super Mario Odyssey. I love this remix. Twenty twenty two, I kinda of figured it was going to be next year. Kind of insane though, with how long it's been since it's been by in it a th three and Metroid Prime 4 have been announced, and we're probably gonna be getting Splatoon 3 before either one of those games. Well we've known we I just realized, we've known well, I can't say for Skyward or Breath of the Wild 2 rather, so Oh, and I forgot about that. The Mario Golf uh, game as well. Seeing before I end this, if there's anybody with the reaction video I care about, and as of right now, there is not. Interesting. Guy I'm subscribed to, Keeper M, finally just got his 3D World Bowser's Fury copy. I got mine last, or I think I just got it on um, one uh, Saturday, this past Saturday, and he's just now getting his. I got mine on Amazon, but anyway. No reaction videos of interest, so I'll be ending this off here. That said, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed this reaction video. Um, before I end this off, I will mention that tonight I am going to be finishing my Let's Play of Pokemon Stadium 2 as well as doing more of my Let's Play of Mario Party 3, so look forward to that. So, that said, see you guys for those videos as well as all future videos and current videos. 
already on my channel of mine. Bye, everybody.